divorced, beheaded, survived. Hi! Hi, babe! How are you? So nice to meet you, finally! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad we are hanging out. This uh, I'm so excited! <laughs> um, Theater Mania and What's On Stage has brought us together this afternoon to talk all about Anne Boleyn and Six. Yes. <laughs> um, so I guess my, what I want to know is, oh my, I guess my first question is, how was it um, performing for the first time? <laughs> this is such a good question because <laughs> I was like I felt very green actually because it's like you know with the rehearsals and everything it's so different because like the audience is like playing such a big part in the show so it's all about like being interactive with the audience and obviously you can't practice that during rehearsals yeah and always it was also like very what shall I say nerve-wracking because of the old cast as well because they've been on like obviously some of them like yeah right. the longest like for four years so i was like big shoes to fill and also like i felt like the the roles are so iconic or they become like so famous and like and like this i don't know expectations as well so <laughs> it was a bit of a blur but at the same time i remember how all of us like all the the queens we were like so shocked because like the the love that we got though was so like overwhelming and we were like oh obviously such a great experience it was just like thrown into it and just like adrenaline and energy and then like whoa it's over I'm gonna go to my my first question here. Yeah. Oh, so, um, uh, I feel like we got a lot of like freedom during the rehearsal process and also like apply a lot of ourselves. So I wonder how much do you like put yourself into the character and in what bits or in what way? Um, I think, I think for me, I, Going into it now, like I've, you know, I've been Anne Boleyn for almost three years. Three years. <gasps> Is it that long? Oh my god! Yeah. Actually, no. <laughs> That's yeah. Crazy. So yeah. playing her now, I kind of just got to grow up with her too. Um, and some days she's really, really spicy for me, <laughs> and other days she's way more chill girl. And um, I think that's what I love is that I, I, I got the permission to, to honor her in whatever state um, I'm in authentically, and still be able to tell her story, um, uh, with as much authenticity as I, I, I can as the storyteller. Um, so I think, yeah, I, does that answer your question? I think yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she flows as I flow. Well, yeah, exactly. No, but I totally agree with you because I feel the same, like whatever state of like mind you're or yourself, the like, yeah, the difference you can play the character without like leaving it, the role. Yeah, absolutely. But I agree with you, yeah. <laughs> Okay, my second question mm -hmm. is how do you feel when you say, <laughs> oh my god, I get it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, before the long bit or like our little. <laughs> <laughs> what goes what goes through your mind before you have to say that line? <laughs> you have to say that like, love like of words that you cannot breathe and you just have to go 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 and just say it. Yeah, exactly. This is actually kind of funny because obviously because it's not my native language. It's yeah. like 
this is what was, was a bit of a like tongue twister for me in the beginning. So I was like, eh, and inherently that one, you know? Yes. I, I must say, I cheat a tiny bit <laughs> and I go through it before when we sit down and and mm -hmm. that's all her no 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 where, where do i go, go through it again oh actually <laughs> i go through it like during the scene <laughs> part sometimes then i'm like quickly like blah, blah, blah. so i just have it the words yes i have to have to so that's why it's like when i practice this line i have to like and inherently you know what i mean so not stumble there because in the beginning i was like blah, blah, blah. yeah <laughs> I know, it truly feels... Yeah, exactly. So I was like, no, I try actually to just think that... Uh, like, I obviously do a little pause after like six, but then I'm like, yeah. oh my god, I get it. Like, oh my god, like, bing! Yeah. And then I go, oh my god, I get it. Get down, you dirty rascal, get down. Okay, my question, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay, what shall I do? Maybe I'll have this one. Yeah, okay, I'll do. Um, what's different about working in six compared to other musicals that you've been? I think the difference is uh, these girls are my best friends. Um, and our love for one another comes first before b before all the pretend. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what we've established, like that's what we've ended up growing into is just loving one another. Um, they, we are all a family. Yeah. And it's, it's really, really special to be exactly who you are and like not be anything else but yourself, even on your bad days um, and feel completely safe with a group of women. Um, so like, I, I've never had a lot of like girlfriends growing up um, and these women have just influenced me in my own womanhood and and I, I hope I've done the same for them. And it's 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 really special to know that even beyond six, these are the girls that are going to be the godmother the godmothers to my children and will be at my wedding and will will do those things for me because we've just established that already and we've been through so much together um so i yeah i think it's a, like a, a thing though in six because i feel exactly the same and i don't know like we started in october with rehearsals yeah we are like i think it's the casting or like obviously the nature of the show as well that makes you actually just like, yeah, have that connection with each other and get that bond instantly. It's like yes. we, we're talking about it like, oh, like, uh, like what was that? A couple of months back even. And we said like, actually like a couple of months ago, we didn't know each other, but now I would invite you to my wedding as like one of my close friends. Yeah. It's how quickly those bonds is created. So yeah, makes me so happy to hear. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so good. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's your experience there too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. You can build me up. You can tear me down. You can try, but I'm unbreakable. My last question is, what has been the most challenging part? and the most rewarding part of doing the show. Yeah. Uh, the most challenging is definitely like from the beginning then, like I said, with the expectations and stuff from there, like I, I definitely have had imposter syndrome in the beginning. I oh, was like, really? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. I was like, oh God, like, and, and also in these roles, you know, they are queens. They're like so confident. You can't have imposter syndrome. You can't doubt yourself. That will totally be like, 
that will be shown or like you can see that so um so clearly so that was definitely the biggest challenge in like just believing in myself and then like the most rewarding obviously that that was like to actually uh, be able to overcome that uh, and then to actually really just enjoy this amazing show this like the interaction with the audience is just amazing i think it's like um to be able to enjoy that and be so present in the moment and like yeah. like um feed into each other and like have that energy and it's so alive and it's so like having so much fun it's like a big party on stage <laughs> oh my god i want to hear your question like uh, your answers to this as well I, yeah I think the most challenging for me now is you know there are some days where you're really tired and um it's sometimes you don't want to work <laughs> because it is my job and it takes a lot mm -hmm. and is where i'm so so drained and so so tired and i don't know if i can you know muster up the energy to do it vocally or my knees are hurting like yeah. the heels are no joke like, oh yeah like when i feel so tired and my body hurts and my voice is tired and it's it's trying to overcome that yeah and then it's like on those days it's it would be on those days where i feel like that and i'm like oh work is so hard yeah that i see a little girl in the audience she's seven eight years old watching six the musical for the very first time and then the mega six comes on and she's out of her chair dancing and singing along to every single song and creating these core memories because she's seen all these women from different walks of life and she can be like i can grow up and be like her or i can be i can be like her too because oh maybe i look like her and it it just like puts me back into like yeah this is why i do it new york city we are listen up let me tell you a story <gasps> ooh la 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 okay most memorable moment so far or blooper or both maybe <laughs> <laughs> like cheeky one <laughs> Ooh, my most memorable. I think it's hard to maybe say one. I know. The journey with Six. I think <sighs> Jimmy Fallon performing on Jimmy Fallon with the girls was a wild, wild experience. So cool. And it just, there's just been so many. Our cast album going out. That oh, was yeah. that was like so recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, babes. Um, yeah, you know, I it it was we were in our sweatpants and we were it was it was the principal cast and we just got to sit down just together and make it um really intimate um kirsten was there and she got to like film all of our reactions and it was it was so special because you know you see your friends go through so much and um and then it just it's just so it's full of pride and i think we all felt that in that room as we were just listening to it just just us for the first time um in our most like scrubbed out <laughs> just yeah just yeah. our normal potato selves <laughs> and um i'll never forget that and there's bloopers every day for us like it on stage just <laughs> getting ready to I, I can't even pinpoint a moment 
I just everything now just makes me laugh. Yeah. And I, that's what we go into the show with is just <laughs> is to make one another laugh. Oh, and congratulations as well to all your like Tony, uh, like babe, thank you. Yeah, that's so great. And like the drama desk and everything, it's like yeah, it's bananas. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. my last question so I think we should maybe wrap it up a little bit but I'm so so happy to meet you and this was so lovely I'm so happy what's on stage and theater mania uh, arranged this for us so we could have this opportunity and um what was gonna say again <laughs> hey, ambulance from Broadway to yes. the West End here exactly. we are here we are yes come to our shows and yes, come to the shows <laughs> of course. <laughs> and that's it. That's yeah. it. That's all. Recording. Yay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>